What's up, YouTube? So this video is going to be my seven-month update, which I know I promised to do a four-month fell behind. Uh, I said I was going to do a six-month fell behind. Now this is my seventh month. So let's get at it right quick. In my prediction video, I mentioned that we that you probably won't be getting the $15 minimum wage. Well, a Republican said it should go to the floor just to see who votes yay or nay on it. And a lot of the progressive Democrats only voted present. Or they didn't vote at all. So it did, so minimum, the $15 minimum wage, federal minimum wage, did not pass. Now we're looking at the um, Medicare for all. Which, again is not looking like it's going to pass unless they listen to the uh, marches that happened last sun last Saturday that happened all over the U.S. 50-50 on if they actually listen to that. I doubt that they will. Um, we are pulling out of Afghanistan, although it's going to be later than what Trump set up. And because of that, the local uh, warring tribes and militias, they're not happy with the U.S. Because Trump promised one thing and Biden saying another. Yes, we will, we will pull out of, out of Afghanistan. It's just going to be several months later, and we're going to piss you off while we're doing it. So, y'all going to cause tons of problems once we do finally move out, and we're going to have to come back in and deal with y'all. So, hey! You're also seeing a lot of stuff happening in other countries in the Middle East. So, we're probably going to have to be going back into those places because hey the peace talks that were going okay under trump have very much broken down and it's thanks to biden's administration and can i make a video without the being something else oh. okay so Everybody's taxes are going back up because Biden is getting rid of the tax cuts. Everybody, the $300 child tax credit that everybody's getting, yes, it's helpful now, but we're going to be paying for it in the long run. I'm one of those, I'm married, three kids, well, two kids, yeah, I know. I sometimes call my wife a child, so hey, it could be three. <laughs> Although she says the same thing about me. But right now, we're kind of needing that money because we'll, we, we like, like a lot of Americans, have fallen on hard times thanks to the COVID. As well as other stuff happening in our lives. So, yeah. Uh, one topic I didn't mention because I didn't see it. Oh, actually, I'm going to hold off on that one. Last time I checked, the 25th Amendment Council that Nancy Pelosi started under Trump, I haven't seen any reports of it. I, I, don't, I don't remember seeing anything talking about it being sidelined. As far as I know, it's still going on. Here's the thing with the 25th Amendment. It only pertains to current presidents. It only pertains to the person in the White House. It does not pertain unless you have significant evidence, which if they had significant evidence, they would have had it with Trump I don't see them having 
significant evidence now. But the 25th Amendment Council is still is still going on. So my question is, if it only pertains to a sitting president, why wasn't it ended when Trump lost? Makes you wonder if it if they did make it to get rid of Trump in case he won. Why didn't they end it when he lost? Yeah, look, yeah, I got a feeling with all the gaffes Biden has been having oh, lately, and since he's been elected, um, they're, still, they're probably gonna do it. They're still they're probably gonna do the 25th Amendment on Biden, and. With how fast he's declining, uh, cognitively and mentally, they they'll probably be, they'll probably use it this year before the year before this year is over. They're probably gonna use the Fifth Amendment on him to replace him with Kamala Harris. Now the topic I was wanting now the to well, topic that I said I will hold off on is this since the election biden the total votes for biden were what 80 mil he won by 80 million he won 80 million votes 81 million votes well because of that all these polls have been adjusted and now majority of them are democrat plus 10. Since Biden has been president, his um, uh, what was it called? His job report, not like actual jobs he made, but his favorability. Can't think that for a minute. His his favorability in the polls has been dropping. He's been president for seven months now, and so far they've dropped nine points. Think about that. Since the, since the first poll came out six months ago, he was, I believe, at 61% favorability, 60-61. Now he's sitting at like 50-50. If not 51-49. Favorability. I don't care who you are. If you lose that much in favorability in a short time, something's wrong. Even, the, even with all the polls skewed as much as they are to one side, he sh no president should be dropping that fast in such a short time, even in the first year. Second, third, maybe. The first year? That's a huge drop. But, uh... I mean, even with Trump, I mean, look at Trump's favorability during his presidency. It was only going up. Yes, it had times where it did drop, but it dropped like one or two points, maybe three. Biden, Biden's favorability has done nothing but drop. So... That's another the reason why I believe they're going to use the 25th Amendment on him because his favorability is dropping so much. But only time will tell. Now, like I said, the media is, I also said the media is going to go quiet. They're going to go to sleep on everything Biden's doing. 
and look what they've actually done. All these neg all the uh, negatives that Biden's done, the media is not talking about any of it. And if they do, it's because they are forced to. And it's usually like a week or two after it's happened. I mean, with Biden, all you're hearing is positive news, positive news, positive news. He's doing so good, according to the media and all the other Democrats, but yet his polling is dropping. I mean, with all the negative media Trump was getting, it was still going up. At a pretty decent rate, if not hell for a long time at a certain point. And that's with the polls being like almost 50-50. Yeah, they were still leaning Democrat, but not like 10 points. They were, I'd say they were leaning by like, uh, I think it was two or three points Democrat. And he, and he was still holding strong in at least 45% favorability. With Biden, it's sixty. It's majority of these polls are like sixty percent Democrats being polled, and his and his favorability is down to fifty, if not fifty-one. Even at that point, it should be like sixty. It should still be at sixty if it was going by Trump's. And you look at all the favorability by the media and everything else. But it's not. It's dropping. So, like I said, I got a good feeling they're going to use the 25th Amendment on him here soon. If not this year, then definitely next year. Um, and then we'll be stuck with Kamala. Which I'm pretty sure a lot of people do not want. Even Democrats don't want that. Yeah, yeah, you can use the whole, it'll be the first female president. Was she elected? No, even during the primaries, Kamala was not liked. Like, if I remember correctly, Kamala Harris kept coming in fifth in the primaries. I mean, she's booty judge was beating her. Um, Elizabeth Warren was beating her. Biden beat her by a lot. Sanders beat her. And, well, like I said, Kamala kept coming in, like, fifth. It was like, once or twice she hit fourth. But that's it. So, I don't know. But, like I said, th that's my seven month update do hey, do what you want with this video you can say I'm wrong in the wrong with it and or not say I'm over analyzing and everything go ahead all I gotta say is peace out